हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर इन फुल स्टैक डेवलपमेंट एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ फॉर्म एंड इट्स मल्टीपल एट्रीब्यूट्स लाइक एक्शन मेथड एंड शॉर्ट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ नेम एट्रीब्यूट आल्सो सो लेट अस स्टार्ट सो इन फॉर्म वी हैव सीन that there is a input element and there is a name attribute along with it which might say username as we have seen in our first element and then there is type equal to text right so what does this name attribute means if you have uh, studied python you might know there is a data structure called dictionary and the first thing is key and another is value in that right similarly in php this similar thing is called associative array and that that also contains key value pairs it's like a, a dictionary english to english dictionary that you have uh, that you must have seen which contains words and meaning in this form so one side we have some word another side we have its meaning one property that uh, you must have noticed that words like there is w1 w2 w3 and up to wn you must have noticed that all these words are unique and let us suppose there are some values attached to them v2 v3 v4 and make it vn so you must have noticed that there is no guarantee that these values are unique they might be unique or might not be unique in similar way we have associative array in php and when we are talking of name and the value sorry name this is name and the value we are entering here if you see the form when you are entering some value here there becomes a key value pair here is key value pair similarly this is key value pair right so we are providing a name unique name to an element because you want to store all the data or you want to make key value pair out of it in this form right and that data is submitted that's why we use name along with every field uh, let us try by removing this name field from one of the input value as we have done with username and try to run the program Let's move it from here. Put the bug. I am putting here a big name so that it's easily recognizable and submit it. And you can see we are getting email, gender, and submit. But we don't get username here, right? So this is the meaning of uh, putting name attribute. Now let's uh, come to another attribute. One is action. and another is method let's understand action briefly when we are talking about action that means we are telling about the page or file to which we are going to submit the data in case you omit this action attribute that means we are going to submit the data to the current page on which we we have uh, coded that form right 
so we have discussed this in previous lecture now uh, come to another thing that is method attribute and there could be a get method which is default one or there could be post method which we have to write explicitly right. so let us discuss about uh, get element first when we are talking about get these are http methods which are used to send the data uh, don't confuse uh, the name uh, by their names because get mean get uh, seems like we are getting the data and post seems like we are posting the data but it is not true in both the cases we are submitting data the only difference is the way we are submitting data right so let us uh, learn some points so what happens when we use uh, get method the data is appended to url you have already seen this here data is appended to url second the data that is appended to url that is uh, what you can say that has some restriction to it just because url has a restriction in length and how many characters url could have it could have 2048 characters so you can't uh, send much data here right third point as the data you are seeing is uh, exposed to anyone on the network or uh, while you are sending the data so if you want to send sensitive information get method is not for that right so in uh, for sending sensitive data you need to use post method fourth part is if you want to send sen sensitive or maybe if you want to use it you can use it for sending non secure data and what what kind of non secure data i am talking about let us take an example as there are google queries you search anything whenever you search something that is not very confidential or uh, that's not so much sensitive like uh, uh, some other informations and what is that other information i am talking here that is like uh, your personal information or maybe your credit card or bank information these kind of information are very sensitive so we can't send these with get method and we need to use post method for this and this is this can be sent by get method you can type anything on google and see whenever you type something or search something let us search web development and you can see here here is the query string right so in this way these method works secondly just talk about post so we have said that this data is appended to url but how how post send the data it wraps it around the http header and sends the data secondly there is no restriction on length or no restriction on data limit you can also send media using post method but you can't send media using uh, this uh, get method if you have any sensitive information or you can say personal information you can send it using 
post post method. The fifth thing, I think this is this is it. Uh, uh, this is it for the difference. If I remember anything else later, I will just update it. But I think th this is it, right? Example we have already seen, like credit card information. Now let's see the way it sends the data. Come here, make it port, and now remove this. And one more thing, one thing more I need to change here is I have removed the name from here. Journey. Let's come back, refresh it and type click on it and you can see the data is submitted but you can't see the data in the URL how can you see the data go to the inspect in Google Chrome go to the network and again try to submit the data here you will be able to see the data submit you can see here is form basics click on it here is header I need to maybe I will put it here and extend it now here you see the form data is username email gender and submit right if you want to submit more data like for abc and abc at yahoo.com it's female submit the data click on from basics go to the headers and you can see here is the data right so in this way you can see that uh, post data is submitted in another way than the then we have uh, done in get method so i think it's uh, clear to you we'll further discuss these things in coming lectures and we'll try to combine front end and uh, um, back end things using different uh, tutorials or different uh, um, lectures we have covered till now so i think it's enough for this lecture if you have any doubt or query please put it in the comments i will try to respond back and please don't forget to sub subscribe to my channel thank you so much